In this course, we are going to learn how to set up the lights for an interior scene by V-Ray. First, we will start from uh, HDRI image lighting and then we move to the sunlight and create different mood of the time with the uh, V-Ray sunlight. Then I start artificial lighting and for the night scene and finally the fire place lighting our scene for work is very simple because you should uh, easily load it and work with this uh, everything is managed in the layer manager so you can hide or unhide everything easily same as for example I am going to hide this curtain and the sofa so you can easily work with the files well the first thing that you need actually to set up is the V-Ray physical camera because we want to create accurate renders so we need to use the V-Ray physical camera so just click and drag it on the place that you want I filter the camera to select it easily and hit the C in the perspective view to just move to the camera view Okay, and I think the sofa is hide. After you set up, uh, you put your camera. The first thing you need to make sure that uh, you are using the show safe frame buffer, and you check your output size. I prefer to work with the 640 by 480 as a default, which is the almost all the setting of the V-Ray are according to this output so I need to move my camera a little bit further to check to see the whole the scene actually not hold just a little bit more but I will go inside the wall so I have two choice go to the very physical camera setting and change the focal length for example to uh, 30 then it will be wider and it will be uh, able to uh, look more area or 25 or maybe uh, I can use I can take the camera out of the wall behind the wall then use the clipping just active the clipping I, I will say to, to I will sell I will tell to the camera very physical camera by clipping that where it should be a start uh, seeing and where it should be a stop for example I choose here 200 and you will see a red line here it means the camera is starting from here however it is behind the wall but it will start from here I put 250 okay and here this red color the second red line is actually showing the far means where it should be ended so if there is object in here you cannot see it in the camera viewport I can move it a little bit further and just increase the clipping and you can see we can see a bigger part of the room so these are the way that you need to set up your camera about your render setting for low quality or test rendering uh, you can use adaptive DMC with the 1.4 and you can use turn on or turn turn off the anti-aliasing I am using the Mitchell or you can use the Camtor is almost the same result however they are a little bit different Camtor is quite sharper 
so if you take uh, you think it will take your rendering time so just turn off the anti-aliasing color mapping uh, for interior the best choice is the rain hard uh, and the burn value should be lower than half for example 0 0.3 0 0.2 and we of course always use the gamma 2.2 uh, these three options these two especially you can check them I will uh, tell you in the next classes why we need to use these two obje uh, options uh, for the test render also you can use the exponential while they are all one one but for the final we will use the ring heart so it is better at the first use the rain heart uh, I choose point 0.2 because I already find this value very good for my scene but maybe you find point 0.3 is better for your own scene or point 0.4 in direct illumination we turn it on irradiance map and light cache are the best choice for the interior scene for the irradiance map we will use a very low if you want also a still uh, have a faster and then you can set the hemisphere subdivision to 30 and the light cache maybe 400 something lower than uh, 500 and the setting here make sure they are in the default value so it is almost the default value is like this so don't uh, change them because they will cause less noise by uh, longer rendering time and the rest of the things you don't touch now until the final render we will touch them to uh, increase the quality of rendering so for the with the next video we will start lighting the scene